Read the owner's manual carefully. Assemble the burner per the owner's manual. Before attaching the disc, check the tightness of the adjustable legs. Press down hard on the burner with both hands. If the adjustable leg slips, tighten them further. Connect the propane cylinder to the burner per the owner's manual. Position the propane cylinder upwind and at least two feet away from the heat of the burner. Prepare all ingredients such as vegetables, meats, seasonings, oils, etc. Any food preparation should be completed before lighting the burner. Gather all necessary paper towels and cooking utensils. All cooking items should be kept within easy reach. Do not leave the cooker unattended. While this is warming up, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about a few more of the features. One thing about this cooker is that it's all powder coated from the shelves to the legs to the disc unit underneath. It's powder coated with a high temp powder coat that can withstand a thousand degrees of Fahrenheit. So that allows me to keep it protected at all times. Go ahead and start off with some uh, bacon and we're going to be making some fried rice. So that was just going for less than about two minutes and already we're good to go and already sizzling. This comes with a two burner system. It's one larger burner, about 10 inches, nested with a smaller six inch burner on the inside. And they're also dual adjustable or you could turn the outside out one down and just adjust the inner one. When uh, designing this uh, disc cooker, I went through quite a few iterations to come up with this design. Originally at one point it was just this, just this disc shape without the walls, but I just found that to be where I couldn't use it to the full capacity and so I just had a hard time with food rolling off when you had big groups cooking for them. It was just very inconvenient that that food would fall on the ground. You wasted a lot on the ground. So that's why I went with this disc that actually has an inch and a half wall all the way around. And so then that put it set up for just uh, adding the lid to go with that. Cooking on this is just a lot funner and more convenient to take to the campsite than a regular grill or even a Coleman stove. You can just do a lot more with this. So there you have it, our bacon is done that quick. So let's go ahead and we'll grab just a few paper towels here. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of soak up this oil really quick. We'll just push that bacon up. We don't wanna cook anymore. It's done, we'll push up to the side where it's a lot cooler there. And I just want to get some, rid of some of this grease. All right, so that grease is pretty much gone. We'll throw in our rice. Soy sauce. All right. Let's call that good for the fried rice. Let's go ahead and put in our mixed vegetables. I'll just kind of clear out an area here in the center. These are just frozen still. We'll just quickly warm those up. Take our bacon, we'll just combine this all back together. So we're almost done with the fried rice, but no fried rice is good, at least I don't think, if it didn't have a little bit of egg. So one thing that I like about the high walls is you can just take your food, push it right up against it, your center's back open. 
I'll take a little olive oil, throw that down. Take our eggs, we'll just start with them. Another thing I like to point out about the burner system on this, now this is a low pressure burner. And one thing that I like about it is that the burner being that it's low pressure and it has such a large outer ring of 12 of 10 inches is that with usual high powered or high pressure burner systems, what ends up happening is you end up scorching the eggs. They just turn black because you just have so much heat right in the center and no one likes black eggs, you know. So your cooking ring on here is almost over 18, 18 inches in diameter where you get all this heat. Alright, so it's will turn that down just a little bit more. So eggs are done. Let's just combine everything back together. That's it. So, you are finished that quick with doing the stir fry for the fried rice. So I'm gonna stop here for a second, just take a picture, all right?